What's going on YouTube? I am back with another video and we are headed to a local card show here in Louisville, Kentucky. So it is Saturday, January 15th. It has been, it's been a while since I've been to a card show. I want to say maybe three weeks to a month. So I'm definitely excited to get back and check out, you know, a card show and see what we can find. I'm going to be looking to buy pretty heavy today. I am planning on doing a fire packs release later on this week and I still need to pick up a few cards and I want to actually do two different series. One's going to be like the normal higher end series. It's still going to be under $100, uh, but a little bit more expensive, probably in that $80 to $90 range. And then I want to do one that's a little bit more affordable around like $30 or $40. So I want to pick up a lot of cards today. So. Uh, that's the plan. We are headed to a card show. It's actually a little bit early. I'm gonna head to Chick-fil-A So this one actually starts at 9 a.m. There's another card show here in the area that starts at 10 So that's why sometimes you guys don't see me get breakfast. I get breakfast, a, you know, a while before the show But anyway, I'm gonna head to Chick-fil-A and I'm also gonna head to Meyer just in case You know, they do their sports card releases early Saturday just in case, uh, you know, there's anything left over I want to check that out. So we're gonna head to Meyer. Chick-fil-A and I got to go to the ATM and get some cash and then we're going to head to the show So I'll check back in along the way All right, so not off to the best start just went to the chase ATM and apparently it is like not working right now So I couldn't get cash out of there Luckily, I still had a I had a little bit of cash at home. So I came back home got that cash which I meant to bring in the first place uh, and forgot so we got a little bit of cash hopefully that's enough uh, if not you know hopefully dealers are okay with Venmo PayPal whatever it may be so just a quick update not off to the smoothest start but now we are officially on our way to the show so we got breakfast went to Meyer and unsuccessfully went to the ATM but we're all good so I'll check back in at the show All right, guys, so we just made it to the show. It is right at about 9 a.m., which is when the show is scheduled to start. So, yeah, I don't really have too much to say. I've already kind of talked a little bit about what I'm looking for today, mainly cards for the fire packs. So I do already have a, a pretty good amount of graded cards for the next series. So honestly, uh, if I can find any graded cards, that's going to be a plus. But honestly, I'll probably mainly be looking for uh, you know, kind of higher mid to high end raw cards. So that's the plan. Let's go ahead and head in the show and see what we can find. How many of these do you have? Just one. Uh, definitely double digits. I don't know about 15, but what are you asking on those? 15. We're pretty stinking cheap. I think I was at 22 on them. 22? Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> what are y'all asking on the mosaic hanger? <laughs> the PSA ones that fit exactly right. Love it. Speak. There were 32 on those. 32, okay. <laughs> If I if I did five of these and then five of the mosaic hangers, would you just do? Could you do twenty and thirty on those? Just knock off the, the two. Turn me on select probably a little more than mosaic. We can do that. We'll do that. So that'd be what is that? Two fifty. Yep, two fifty. Is that cool? Okay. 
What's up, man? Hey, how's it going? Yeah. <laughs> big Zach Levine guy? I am, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I'm a big DeMar guy too now, but uh, his his rookie stuff, his rookie, especially his top scrum stuff, is getting so expensive. Yeah, it's just such a cousin from 09. Right, yeah. right. And it's only going up. So. Yeah. Isn't it crazy how like one player is good and the entire set sells for more? Yeah. Like it's crazy. Yeah. That's how it works. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Buy anything 03. What are you asking on the Bane? Uh, I'd have to check. Probably 50 bucks. Okay. For the purple. Okay. Yeah, I don't Let know. What those, check. I don't yeah, know what those go a, for either. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, uh, that's a good deal. I mean, I think the base optic Did one's you, like 30, 35. I didn't oh, even really? buy one, right? I, I bought one, but it was probably two, yeah. two Before, months ago. Yeah, 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 so I have no clue. Yeah. Did you buy the Nor Wara 101? Uh, which one? The one that you were, the guy that the guy was being oh, a dick the, about? The Shimmer? Yeah. No, he he hasn't gotten back to me, but I'm honestly kind of glad that I didn't because I got one that's 10 times better. Nice. That, which one did you did pick you, up? Did that have the same print line or no? I don't know. Uh, you pointed out that little print line on the bottom, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good for you. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. <clears throat> Good for you. Uh, yeah, that's that, that'll... Is that the variation, too? That'll be my biggest one. Uh, I think it is the variation, yeah. Yeah, it's worth, it's worth more than 50 bucks. Oh, is it really? What is well, it? the last sold on it uh, was, it was December 9th, but it was 78. Uh, okay. The other ones are all these signature series ones that yeah. I'm seeing. Right. But you got 78, and then you got 5650. Um, yeah. I mean, I probably want like 60 bucks for 60? it. 60, okay. Um, Hey, yeah, I'll, yeah, I know. I'll go. I'll do sixty on it. Is that for a pack? Yeah, yeah. 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 Need some inventory. <laughs> Not a bad one to pick up. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you, man. Hey, good. How are you? I found both of these in like a I think it's a number to like $199. I thought it was like $10. I guess that shows how out of touch I am with stuff. Wait, who? The DeRozan. Oh, yeah. I looked it up and there was like two sales of like 70 something. Like, huh? <laughs> nice. Yeah, I have no clue who's autographed on this. Chris Bosch, dude. It is. I mean, I know it was earlier auto looked at like, yeah. He's like, I know it's wizards. He's like, yeah. Like, figure out a price on those, let me know. <laughs> nice. I was like, maybe we can work out a deal on that LeBron Excalibur. Yeah, it was like all new stuff and like, that's Steve Smith. It's <laughs> like, whoa. And one of my dickhead buddies blew up my spot on the. Hey, would, would you? I think it's half the battle. Would you do 120 on the that tray and then the Iverson one and one? Man, these, these are about yeah, four. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Do 120 on these. The two? Crusade. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably got sixty dollars in the pair. Twenty or forty. Appreciate it. Thirty. Thirty. Please. Mark. Thank 40. you. Yeah, thank you. This Mark's at fifty. All right, guys so we just walked up to the show and it is almost 12 o'clock so i was in there for about three hours and man does it feel good to sit down my legs were tired uh but i made a pretty good amount of pickups i want to say maybe like 10 to 15 cards and then i actually did pick up some retail as well uh, so i am planning on doing a retail break this weekend so i thought i could just add that to the break and you know maybe rip a couple personal boxes as well so again pretty solid show uh definitely happy with the pickup so let's head on home and i'll show you guys everything i picked up all right so as you can see we have made it back home i am recording this clip on sunday the 16th so i want to go ahead and wrap up the video and show you guys everything that i did pick up at the show yesterday as you can see not a ton of pickups here but i'm happy with what i was able to pick up 
uh, probably picked up somewhere around 10 cards. And um, all the cards that you are gonna see here are for the next series of fire packs. I said earlier in the video, I wanna actually do two separate series. I wanna do a more affordable series, somewhere around like 30 or $40. And I'm gonna do a pretty solid mix of anywhere from like 20 to $100 cards. And then I'm also gonna have the uh, standard series, which is gonna be around 80 or $90. And you can get cards anywhere from like 40 on up to, you know, four or $500. So uh, that was the plan for pickups at the show yesterday. And I do also wanna say I have an SGC reveal coming in the next couple days, as well as a PSA reveal. And some of those cards that I'm getting back will be in the next series as well. Some of those will be actually some of the bigger chase cards. So definitely excited to get some of those back in. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into the pickups. Don't wanna take up too much time here. So uh, the first one up is an OB Toppin Auto. This is the Hollow signature series auto this was a pretty cheap pickup thought it was a pretty good deal i think it was around like 20 bucks and i did so i think i picked this one up and another one as like a package deal so not exactly sure on the price but i think this was marked at like 20. i thought that was a pretty good deal for an ob top and auto these uh these autos out of optic retail are super super hard to come by so felt like that was a decent deal and then next one so that one obviously is going to be in the lower end series I'm not going to throw that in like the 80 or 90 dollar uh series and then i think this one i'm also going to include in that lower series like 30 40 bucks so this is an Emmanuel Quickly Noir Auto out of 99. Obviously, Noir is a super, super high-end product that, you know, I think over, I want to say over a thousand, I think it's over a thousand, maybe even like $1,500. Uh, so Quickly is a pretty solid rookie. It's a, you know, rookie on-card auto number to 99. The only bad thing about Noir, I will say, is a lot of the borders on the cards are like dark black borders. So it is very, very easy to get damage or wear on the corners. And this one does have a little bit on the top corner, but again, you know, I think throwing this in like a 30, $40 pack, it's gonna be a solid, uh, solid card for someone, someone to get. So quickly on card auto numbered at 299 out of, again, a very, very high end product. This one, so those two are gonna, I think be the only two that are gonna be in the lower end series. All the other cards should probably be in the higher end series. Maybe I might throw in one of these PSA cards uh, but we'll see. I haven't really fully decided yet, uh, but I did pick up another OB Toppin. This one is a Contenders Optic um, card. This one is the red on-card auto uh, numbered to 99. The price on that was 100. I believe a recent comp went for like 75. So I'm pretty sure they matched this. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I actually got the two Toppins from the same dealer and I think it was $100 total for those. So uh, you know, basically, you know, they had a hundred on this one, basically threw in the other top and, you know, for free, if you want to look at it that way. Uh, but nice on card contenders optic. I'm a sucker for contenders optic. You guys know that love that love those cards. Uh, next one up, nice one here. And one that's actually really, really well centered. This one could definitely be a potential grading candidate. Tyrese Halliburton Donruss choice auto. I believe I got this one for 80 bucks and all of the recent comps were over, I think they were all over a hundred. I want to say closer to like 120 range. So I feel like for 80 bucks on that one was a pretty solid deal. He did have that marked at 120. Again, I'm pretty sure I got it for 80. Um, and again, I think, you know, whoever gets this might want to look at grading it. Centering looks pretty perfect on that one. So nice card there. And then you guys did see this one in the video, the Desmond Bain Optic Purple. I was honestly kind of shocked that uh, this was only 60 bucks. Originally he said 50, then we checked some comps and he went up to 60, which was still, I feel like a pretty solid deal. Um, I did pick up one of these base autos a couple months ago from this show for, I think it was actually like 20 or $25 and they're selling now for like 70 or 80. So I was a little surprised that the purple actually does less than the base. Um, but anyway, very nice card on card Desmond Bain. So I feel like that's a really nice one. And then next one up, um, you guys saw the deal I made on the video, but I didn't actually show the card, uh, but we did pick up an Allen Iverson one and one to 99. These, I did see a couple recent sales on these and they were right at about a hundred, maybe a little bit over. So pretty spot on there, but I did pick this one 
and the Trey Young up in the same deal and got them for 120 total. So Mark did 150. I felt like this one was about 40 and this one should have been about 80. So we got them for 120 total. So happy with that deal. And then I think the next, yeah, these next five actually all came from the same dealer. So at the very end of the show, I came across someone who had a bunch of boxes on the ground and I noticed that they were all graded cards. And he said that he just got back like a thousand card PSA order. Hadn't had, you know, hadn't really had time to go through and price them. And I said, hey, can I, you know, can I look through them? He said, yeah, sure. So I looked through them, found some recent comps and, you know, obviously he sent these in. It was like a thousand card order. He sent them in like over a year ago. So prices have obviously come down a lot in that time, which is pretty unfortunate for him, but great for me. So I did go through his boxes and pick out a few that I did uh, once. And I was able to pick up the John Morant Essentials Bronze. So I believe I got this one for about 60 bucks. Uh, not too bad there. And then I believe that all the other ones were right around 40 or 50 bucks. I can't remember the exact price on, on each, uh, but we did pick up another John Morant. This is out of Chronicles Phoenix. And then a Keldon Johnson Mosaic Red. This is gonna be the hobby exclusive red. And all these, of course, are PSA 10s. Cam Reddish, he did get just recently get traded to the Knicks. So uh, a lot of people are probably picking up his stuff right now, but we got a Mosaic Mosaic PSA 10. And then finally, we have a KPJ Optic Blue Velocity. So that is gonna do it for the pickups from the show yesterday. Again, I am very happy with these pickups. I think I got some really good deals, some really nice cards. So these will all be in the next series of Fire Packs, which I am planning for Friday of this week. So again, I'm recording this Sunday the 16th. I believe Friday would be the 21st. So be on the lookout uh, for the, the next series of Fire Packs. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up and I will see you soon.